Today I'm going to show you how to diagnose an eye disease using artificial intelligence. I will actually participate in a competition and compare my results with the best results in the field. Ok, let's get started. I will take a part in Diabetic Retinopathy Detection Challenge. Diabetic Retinopathy is an eye disease. It's a leading cause of blindness in the working age population in the developed world. In this competition, the participants are given images like this of left and right eye of patients, and they are invited to rate each image between 0 and 4. Here 0 being no diabetic retinopathy and 4 meaning the most severe form of diabetic retinopathy. So first you need to join the competition and then you can go to the rules tab and accept the rules. Only after that you are allowed to download the data. To download the data you can go to the data tab and the press the download all button. Here you can see the, the data source, the structure of the data source. You see that training and test data have been split into different files. So after downloading them, you need to merge them back. So I will download data, merge them back and will get back to you. Okay, I have downloaded the zip file, unzipped it and organized in this way. Now I need a tool to train a machine learning model. I will use Intellect AI for this purpose. You can download Intellect AI from its website. It's free to download and try. So I, I went to Intellect AI website and now I press on the download button. It redirects me to its GitHub page. Here you can read the installation instructions and install it yourself. It's pretty straightforward. I have already downloaded and installed the Intellect AI. Now I would like to upload my dataset to Intellect AI server. So it has been uploaded to the server. Now I can extract it here. I delete the artifacts. I can also delete the zip file. So now it's time to train a model using this data. I go to the training tab and press on train model. First I will train a small model using simple image classifier. Let's call our model simple DR for diabetic retinopathy detector. So I chose a training data, test data I don't need for now. If you look at the images, they are very, very big. In order to make the training fast, uh, I need to shrink the images. So in our first training, I will shrink them 20 times. They will still be big enough to be used to train a machine learning model. OK, now I can start the training. OK, the training has finished. The final page looks like this. So we can see here how training loss and validation loss decreased. We can also see how 
validation accuracy increased by time. So let's go and check the training summary. We see that we could achieve 75% of accuracy in just 50 minutes. That was pretty fast. But we might not be satisf satisfied with this accuracy. So then I will go back and train a bigger model using the same data. So here I will choose Deep Image Classifier. I give it a name Deep Di Diabetic Retinopathy Classifier. I choose the same data. And I choose the same shrink factor. OK, so I will start the training. Training has finished. Let's check the results. You see that this trainer ran two trainings to choose the best model. And here we see that accuracy surpasses 76%. Let's check the training summary. OK, the final accuracy was around 76% and the training ran 3 hours 41 minutes. What I will do now is I will run the training even more to see whether the training accuracy increases. OK, I go to the model and the start training again. Our retraining has finished. Let's see whether we have any improvements. OK, I scroll down. We see that validation loss decreased and we also have a bump on the validation accuracy. We have now around 78-79% accuracy. OK, let's check the final results. So 79% uh, accuracy and it ran 3 hours more. In the end we have 6 hours running time. Now the question is can we increase our accuracy even more? How about increasing the input image resolution or decreasing the shrink factor? We can try that. So for that I will go to training, create another training Let's call it medium resolution, the same trainer, and I choose the same training data. This time I will shrink it only 10 times. In other words, I will increase the re input resolution two times. I add uh, and I start the training. Training has finished. Let's check the results. We see that our classifier could achieve above 82%. OK, let's check the final statistics. OK, now the accuracy is 82.4%. Uh, and it achieved it in 23 hours. The training time increased quite significantly, but also accuracy increased as well. Now I will go ahead and deploy this. Now let's test the deployed model.
You see we got the result 0. We also have the activation map. The activation map means, for example here, model gave more attention to the bright spots while making its decision. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and and run this deployed model on the test images. Okay, let's call it classify dr and we have our deployed model here and the folder to watch will be test. Nice, it was added. Let's check the results. If you see that first, uh, we don't have any result. Now the results will start appearing. As you see, you can And now I will wait until all the images have been classified, then go further and submit them to Kaggle. Okay, all, all the images have been processed. Now I can download the result. So this is our CSV file. I will now open it. Okay, so it looks like this. Now let's see how our submission should look like. Our submission should look like this. So we need to have image name without extension and basically our prediction. So let's then make our CSP file like that. Image and level. So our image name is here need to remove everything before that so string until test and we remove that part then we remove everything after that Okay, that part we replace it with comma. Now we need to remove everything after our prediction. Nice, now I will save it, close it. Now I will go ahead and submit it. I change to Diabetic Retinopathy Challenge page. I choose to choose late submission and I choose my CSV file. Let's call it first submission. and I submit. Okay, now we have our score. Now it's interesting where we stand on the leaderboard. Our score was 0, 5, 8. So this is 57 and this is 59. 
So we are in between these submissions. Means uh, in between place 57 and 58. Not bad at all. Let's now also check how many participants there are. By the way, we are in the uh, bronze place range. So so we see that there are 422 participants which had positive score. So we are um, at least 57, 58 out of 422. That seems like a good result. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and until the next time.